Welcome to the Hyper Automation webinar series and our session about intelligent business document processing through side-by-side -side SAP intelligent RPA scenarios for small and medium enterprises. The objective of this session is to demonstrate how SAP intelligent RPA can accelerate the journey towards the intelligent enterprise for SMEs. Today's agenda covers the intelligent enterprise innovation stream for SMEs as well as how SAP Intelligent RPA and pre-delivered bots can help SME customers automate various processes. Our Intelligent Enterprise version for SME focuses on three main innovation streams. First, Intelligent Automation, that is, the full automation of business processes based on AI and machine learning services and Intelligent RPA bots. Second, decision assistance, which automates human interactions in decision processes. And third, next generation user experience through voice and messaging. The benefits for our customers include more speed and agility, fewer errors and repetition, and smarter decisions, along with an enhanced user experience. To achieve the hands-free ERP promise, we have embedded some AI business services directly into SAP Business by Design and SAP Business One. Complementing this are side-by-side -side SAP Intelligent RPA bots enhanced with AI business services, which will be covered in this webinar. The demo that follows will help you learn more about AI business services consumed directly by SAP Business One and SAP Business by Design via intelligent business document processing using embedded AI services for SMEs. As an example, the session demo takes a look at sales order creation from local purchase orders. We have delivered the first batch of best practices from SAP Intelligent RPA to SAP Business by Design, and all of them can already be found in the official SAP Intelligent RPA store. It's enough to choose a publisher, such as SAP Business by Design, to have access to all available content packages for this product. In today's demo, you will see how bots automate the process of creating sales order from a local purchase order received from a customer. Until now, downloading a purchase order received from a supplier via email and using the same PO to create a sales order in SAP Business by Design was a manual task. You had to look up and manually enter information in different fields in SAP Business by Design while referring to the received document. This bot automates this manual task and automatically creates a sales order for you to validate and use for further processing. The aim is to speed up the process of creating sales orders as well as to lower the number of manual errors while processing documents. To acquire bots, you go to the iRPA store and search for the bots relevant to SAP Business by Design. As you can see, bots are already available. The first one will extract the relevant attachment from the email based on predefined criteria. The second one will pick up these files from the relevant folders and send them into the Document Information Extraction Service, which is part of SAP Artificial Intelligence Services. Based on the received information, the bot will create a sales order in the system. After you have acquired the bots, you need to perform a short configuration, which is well described in the technical specification, as well as in the videos on the SAP Help Portal. What is important to mention is that with this regular SAP Business by Design subscription, you have the possibility to run these two bots one after another. Moreover, you are able to schedule them in a way that when you first reach your office, the first documents received overnight are already available in the system without any manual operation on your part. So let's see how these bots are configured in the Intelligent Robotic Process Automation Factory. The first one that extracts email documents will run every day in the morning and before midday with the following input parameters. For example, in which folder should the attachment be stored? The second one handles a sales order creation from a local purchase order, and this bot will run a little bit later in the day. So the first attachment can be downloaded and started correctly. You will also have some input parameters that, for instance, instruct the bot about which folder contains input documents, which business by design tenant should be in use, and what configuration files should be on local machines. Once you finish the configuration in the Intelligent RPA factory, you can go on to check the configuration of the local files. There are two configuration files for this bot. 
The first file will allow you to set up the type of business object to be processed. This is the same configuration file as you used for the attachment extraction bot to know from which email address an attachment should be downloaded. The second one will let you set up some business parameters about under what circumstances the bot should or should not create a sales order. For instance, whenever the customer ID or product ID is not identified, should the bot create or not create a sales order? Another parameter will let you adjust the confidence score of recognized values from the Document Information Extraction Service. You can adjust the sensitivity of the bot from 100 to 10 percent and have it decide on that basis if the data is good enough to accept for further document processing. Once you have performed the configuration, you still need to check for the purchase order documents. Start in the To Be Processed folder for the respective company code. As you can see, you have one file for processing. Now, after everything is ready, you can try running the bot. You can either wait for the scheduled time or you can run the bot immediately. If you run the bot immediately, it will first check for To Be Processed files then we'll pick up those files and send them into the Document Information Extraction Service. After the service extracts the values, the bot will immediately create a sales order in our SAP Business by Design tenant. So let's run it. After the bot is executed, you can go into the monitoring site and check if the bot is already executed. Now the bot is executing and you can refresh and see if the bot has finished the execution, and it did. So now you can navigate to your SAP Business by Design tenant and search for the sales orders and check if a new document has been created. You can see that a document has been created, so you open it. You can see that the account and the ship to address have been identified and that the product line items have been added. Going to the More tab, you can see that the document was created by the IRPA bot. And I can see the attachment of the file that was processed. The ship to address, the account name, as well as the line items have been identified properly. Let's go back to SAP Business by Design. So let's have a look at the available use cases. With release 2111, the first batch of six bot templates as best practices for intelligent automation for SAP Business by Design is now available. To highlight just a few, the business document extraction from email bot will download documents attached in Outlook emails and classify them in a structure of folders based on parameters and rules. The Schedule Report Refresh bot will automate a process of report refresh, and the third bot, Sales Order Creation for Local Purchase Order, automates the process of creating a sales order from a local purchase order received from customers. You can see the overview of all six bots here, and you can visit the SAP Intelligent RPA store and get additional information about the bots. The benefits for the customers are very clear. First, they can use the best practices bots without any additional cost as part of their SAP Business by Design license. Second, these bots can simplify processes in your company highlighted in this demo. And third, these bots can reduce manual effort for your employees so that they can focus on higher value tasks. So stay tuned and visit our SAP Business One and SAP Business by Design Roadmap for further innovations.